everybody this is Sharon and I'm here to share a project with you that I created to go on our back door of our house um, I don't know if you guys know or not but my husband has a body shop here at our house and even like on Saturday and Sundays um, people you know they'll come down here knock on the door ring the doorbell um, you know just things like that when uh, normally people would be off we're not open on Saturday or Sunday and um, They'll ring the doorbell, and if I'm have uh, most of the time, I keep our grandbaby um, while her parents work, and sometimes it's on Saturday and Sunday. And um, if they ring the doorbell, we have two small dogs that bark hysterically, and of course that wakes the grandbaby up. And then if she is waking up early from her nap, she is very um, ill, and you know you just can't do a lot of things with her. So. Um, I wanted to create a project to hang on the, the back door so when I have her and she's asleep I can put this up and hopefully um, you know they'll they'll see it and won't ring the bell so what I did um, let me zoom out just a little bit it's one of the um, frames that you can pick up at Michaels in the wooden section and I just did some um, pink paint um, I just spray painted the um, the whole back of the, the frame here in pink and then um, I sprayed that and then I put this uh, texture paint over it um, well it's actually texture paste and it's like the gesso and the sand mixture that you can put together I put that over the pink and so it's got like a um, you know a really rough texture to it right here I hope you can see that um, but anyway it has that and then after I did that, I layered the paper in the background. And the paper is the Kaiser Craft Bundle of Joy. It's the little girl. Um, I think they have a little boy and a little girl like that. So this is the little girl paper. And so I layered that in the back, back here. And um, and then I just, you know, started embellishing it with uh, different things. Um, I'm going to adjust my camera up just a little bit so I won't hit. But we'll start up here at the top. Um, up here, of course, is one of the Magnolia Tilda stamps that I colored with my Copic markers. And so I just kind of sat her up here across the top. And then I did um, a double seam, seam binding bow in the pink here and put a little rattler in the back right there. And thanks, Rhonda. She gave me that. So I, I appreciate that. And then I layered one of these um, little buttons here from, um, I think I purchased this at Hobby Lobby. It's like the store carrying the baby bundle there. And then, um, I'm going to have to set this up just a little bit further, I'm sorry. Um, on this side over here, I just did some a flower spray right here. And I put this little love, i um, not sure if you can really even see that. It's a punch out that I got from uh, Jamie's. Well, it's not a punch out, it's a dye that I got from Jamie's store. And um, I'll list her, link to her store in the description bar below in case you guys would like to check out her store. She has some really pretty things there. And then um, after that, I just layered this banner that goes back here. I'm not really too sure if you can hardly even see that, but it came from the paper collection. So I layered it back there, and I put some uh, little bows right here and some string, and um, and then these little bows that I purchased, I think, at Walmart. That kind of just goes all the way across right here, and then there's another bow with another one on top. And then I layer the little bows in between each of the banners um, also. And then on this side over here, um, I just made this little um, sign on my computer. These are Spellbinders dies that's layered here and here. And then I just layered this on my computer here. Um, made this on my computer, I'm sorry. And then um, these are some more dies that's in Jamie's shop. The little heart dies with the bows on top. And, um, and then this down here is a sticker from the paper collection. And then I just did some little pearls right here on the ends. Um, up here is a little sentiment I created on my computer as well. And then um, I have two flowers here. Um, hold on one minute, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm sorry about that. There was actually somebody at the door in, in this Sunday afternoon. So, But um, anyway, that's that's why I'm making this sign. Um, I think I was down here. Um, like I said, I just printed this off of my computer. These are two Spellbinder dies here. And, um, and this little sentiment, like I said, I made that on my computer. And, you know, just punched out with a circle punch. And then this is a scallop punch in the back. 
Then I just layered these two uh, flowers here. And then on the inside, um, down here where the paper's at, I had some little butterflies that came with the paper collection. I'm not sure if you can really see it, but I popped those up. There's one there. Um, there's one there. One right here. And then there's one right here. So um, I just kind of popped those up just to give them, you know, a little bit of dimension. And then across the bottom down here, I just did another flower cluster. And um, there's a little dragonfly that comes from the paper collection. And then two um, little feet right there. And then I also went over everything with the gesso and sand. Well, not everything, but just the flowers and, like I said, the frame. And, um, and then I have some um, layers of some um, trims that I have here that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. So I think that's everything. Um, I thought it turned out really pretty. I just hope people will take the time to read my little sign there. And the back of it, I just kind of left it plain. Um, this is just the other side of the paper collection, and um, so I didn't really do anything to the back of it. And I'm not complaining when I tell you guys, you know, those people come to the door because that is the way that, you know, my husband makes his living. And um, so I'm not complaining. I'm just stating, you know, that people, you know, when they come on Saturday and Sunday, you might not necessarily be expecting them. So um, hopefully this will help. I'm going to put some um, seam binding on the back of this and then um, just use one of those little hooks that you can buy that sticks to the door so it won't mess the finish or anything like that up. So that's what I'm planning on doing. I hope you guys like it. I hope you have a great Sunday. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.